Our scholarly concentration program is a, an optional program in which students can choose to participate as first-year medical students and then throughout their four years. Typically, students in the scholarly concentrations are working in projects that are cross-disciplinary. So they might be involved in humanities or in informatics or in advocacy or um, different cross fields that involve medicine, but there's, there is um, cross-disciplinary area of interest. I think the scholarly concentration is one of the biggest assets that Alpert Medical School has because it really allows students to find their, their home their home for the, the type of inquiry and the type of interest that they have. So for me, I'm very interested in health disparities and caring for underserved populations. So I am part of that scholarly concentration. Well, our students have lots of opportunity for leadership and for following their passions. One of the ways they can do that is uh, by either working with faculty or initiating we have a preclinical elective. We have both faculty and student um, initiated and student led preclinical electives. They're incredibly broad. I think at last count we had something like 30 preclinical, at least 30 preclinical electives available to our students. Similarly, there's an extracurricular that I've absolutely loved and am now part of a leadership for. That's a partnership with RISD. It's called Design Plus Health. And so we take half medical students, half RISD students, many of whom are industrial designers or architects. And in that project, we build teams that are gonna to try to solve a medical problem from a design perspective. So for the medical folks who don't have as strong a design background, it's a really great opportunity to get exposed to that way of thinking. And for the design folks to actually see a hospital in reality, to get that exposure to the medical world is fantastic as well. So we have a lot to teach each other. We have a fantastic time together and it's a really, really good way to spend your time outside of the classroom. One of the things I really like about our medical school is that we really get to know our students. We, I think there's a great level of faculty interaction with our students. Students who find that they're struggling in any way will find that there is a tremendous amount of support. The Office of Medical Education directly, we have a learning specialist, we have a psychiatrist on staff. But also I think that there are a surprising number of faculty members and staff members who are willing to meet with the student and work through whatever the problem may be. I think we have a pretty robust way of helping students. Our goal is to get all of our students to where they need to be.